Hey Loopers, my name is Matt McCoy. I'm the founder of loopcommunity.com. And today I'm gonna to show you all the transitions that are available to you in our free app, Prime. Prime is an app for running multi-tracks for iPad, iPhone, and Mac. It's a free app in the App Store, so check it out. Today I'm gonna to show you all the different transition options that we have that will let you run your set automatically. What I mean by that is that maybe you don't wanna actually be touching your iPad throughout the set you know, going to the next song, stopping the song, we can actually set up the entire set to flow seamlessly without you having to touch it at all. And that's gonna be using our transitions that we have in Prime. So I'm gonna walk you through each one and how I would use it in a worship set. So I have a set here in Prime. Now by default, you'll notice that the transition is set to this little white arrow in your set list on the right hand side of the screen. This transition is just default. It just means that what's gonna happen is when it gets to the end of the song, the tracks are just gonna stop, and then you're gonna have to tell it where to go next. Let me just show you what happens when we have it set on default. In, two, three, four. So my track is gonna play through. When it gets to the end, it's just gonna stop. And then I'd have to tell it to go to the next song. But let's just say in this instance, I actually want it to go from my first song automatically into my second song. So I'm gonna press on the little white arrow so that the icon changes to a little arrow that uh, kind of curves down. And this transition is called auto advance. What's gonna happen is when my first song is done playing, when it gets to the end, it's just going to automatically start my next song. Let me show you what happens here. And actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim the end of our first song a little bit by just bringing the end time back a few seconds. Let's go ahead and play. In, two, three, four. Okay, so when it got to 4.05, which was the end time Intro, I set it at, two, three, it went four. automatically to my next song and started it. Awesome. Now let's look at the next transition. Let's press the icon twice. And now the next transition option is called overlap. It has two bars that are kind of overlapping each other. What this means is that when my first song gets to the end, it's going to start playing my next song, um, but it's not gonna fade out the audio at all. So both of the tracks are gonna be playing and the audios are, are, are gonna be at the same level. This is called overlap. So let me go ahead and just press play on overlap. We're gonna hear how this sounds going into my next song. I'm actually gonna bring my end time back a little bit. And let's go and press play and see what this sounds like. In, two, three, four. Intro, two, three, four. So you'll notice that my song did not fade out. It just kept playing both songs at the same time over each other and went right into the next song. Now, let's look at another transition. This is gonna be called, this is called crossfade. So I'm gonna go and press the icon to where it says crossfade. And this is two lines that kind of cross each other. With crossfade, what's gonna happen is when my song is done playing, it's gonna fade it out, but at the same time, it's gonna start fading in my next song. So we're gonna crossfade out of Exalted Overall into a pad. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the end time on Exalted Overall, we're gonna bring that back to maybe four minutes. Let's go ahead and press play, and then let's listen how it's gonna cross the path. Two, three, four. You can hear my pad kind of come up there, and it cross faded right into the pad. Pretty cool. Now during this pad moment, maybe I'm gonna pray or read a, read a scripture. Let's go ahead and set my end time on the pad to 30 seconds, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually crossfade out of the pad into our last song. So let's go ahead and turn on crossfade, okay? And what it's gonna do is it's gonna get to uh, the end of the pad, it's gonna crossfade right into waiting here for you. So let's go ahead and try it from the beginning with Exalted Overall. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bring the ending of Exalted Overall even back a little bit more. And let's go ahead and press play. In, two, three, four. So 
So it faded out Exalted overall. It faded in my pad. And now around the 20 second mark, it's gonna start waiting here for you. Intro, two, three, four. Awesome. So now waiting here for you started. It faded out my pad. I'm in my last song. And I didn't have to touch it at all. It's all automatic. Verse, two, three. Now the next transition I'm gonna show you is what we call trigger. And the way trigger works, I'm gonna go ahead and press uh, the icon to bring it to trigger. Trigger has a little square with an arrow coming out of it. How trigger works is when it gets to the end of my song, my tracks are gonna stop playing, but the click is gonna keep going. What's awesome about this is that maybe for a song like this, Waiting Here For You, when I get to the end of the song, maybe I just wanna do a couple more down choruses, but I wanna still stay to a click but we don't need tracks. So this is gonna let me just have a click, keep going at the end of the song so I can do a couple more down choruses. Let me go ahead and show you what this sounds like. Let's bring it to the end of Waiting Here For You. Here comes the ending of Waiting Here For You. In, two, three, four. My tracks are fading out, and my click keeps going. And the click is going to keep going on forever and ever until I tell it to do something else. So until I tell it to stop, or until I tell it to go to the next song. So trigger is a great way to let you kind of maybe keep playing the song, do a couple more down courses, but still be in time. So with Prime, we've got all these transition options that let you automate your set. What's cool too is that you can really use the start and end times to really customize how these transitions all work together. You noticed that I actually changed the end times on a few of these songs. Because maybe some of the songs have a long tail at the end. Well you can use the end time to really customize the song so that these transitions are perfect. And what's great is that you know if you don't want to be touching your iPad during the set, you can automate your entire set. Press play at the beginning, let it go through the whole set, and you don't even have to touch your iPad or your Mac at all. And that's why we put these transitions in Prime. It's a free app in the App Store. Check out Prime today and have fun with automating your worship sets.